What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. I am here to talk about some very, very exciting uh, stuff in the space of, I guess, like technical wear slash fashion, all that other stuff. Um, I'm here to talk about a new brand. It is JLAL, which is the creator's um, initials. Uh, I believe it's like Jean-Luc something. My apologies, I'll try and put it up here. Uh, I'm not very good at pronunciation, but um, he just recently, well, I guess he was a student um, in London studying design, I believe. And in the past, my God, like six years, he's been able to essentially do so much. When I look at his career, really, I feel like I haven't done much, but basically he's done like multiple projects. He's done projects with uh, like Roa, uh, like hiking, as well as done projects with uh, like Goldwyn. Um, he helped with like Goldwyn Zero. He's also helped with, I mean, now he has, you know, the Hoka project that I'm gonna be reviewing today as well as his Fall Winter 23 was his first collection. All of his stuff looks super, super crazy, super cool. Um, it has that sort of gorp core, um, like technical aspect to it with very interesting articulation and details. Um, yeah, in the past six years, it's amazing what someone can accomplish. I believe he started his Instagram or at least um, his last or earliest post was like 2016, 2017. And then ever since then, he's been on a crazy run. Like Goldwyn Zero looked fantastic. Um, his stuff with like Roa looked great. Um, and you know, I'm hoping to pick up some of his stuff uh, maybe towards the sale season just because it is a little bit out of my price range for it not being on sale, but I'm gonna keep an eye out, especially for some of his like soft, wall ja soft shell jackets. Uh, the articulation looks really cool, etc. So again, enough rambling on um again it's it's very impressive to see where his career has gone in such a short amount of time and i can't wait to see him expand and get even bigger in the future um that being said this hoka release was such a pain in the butt to hunt down especially the ultra tour lows those guys were almost impossible i had to pay arm and a leg for them the high tops are a little bit more available but i'll talk about my own gripes with that later but yeah so here is i love it when people start like revving their engines so here is the shoe boxes for both the high and the low uh, it's a very interesting abnormally shaped box so it's a very unique box. This is the Tor Ultra Low, which is sort of like a hiking um, footwear sneaker. If you guys haven't heard um, of Hoka before, they are a like running slash footwear company. Um, they've made plenty of shoes. I really like their Clifton series for running. Um, it's great, amazing cushioning, amazingly light uppers. Um, so like that's something that immediately shocked me about these shoes were how light they looked or how durable they looked or how light they are for how durable they looked. Um, so yeah, here is the box. I believe retail was like 180 for the lows and 250 for the highs. Yeah, 250 for the highs. Oh, this is 180 pounds. I think it was like 200 for the lows or 220 for the lows. But again, kind of like I mentioned before, the lows were very, very, very sought after. Uh, that is the dune colorway, which is inspired by the desert and the harsh climates, while the high top is the aurora colorway, which is inspired by the aurora borealis. Um, so yeah, box opens like this. Um, with each of the shoes, they come with four different lace options. So let me pull them out. So for the dune colorway, it comes with This color, which is like a baker gray sort of color. It's it's not just gray, but it has like a hint of green to it. Um, and then it comes in this blue color as well. 
bright blue. And each of the colors are shown in the shoe. This mint color, it's a very, very nice mint. I'm not sure exactly if it'll go well, but as well as the shoes came default laced in sort of like a lavender sort of color. Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear little pitter patters. I just got a dog, uh, my dog Dopio, and uh, he's just kind of exploring right now, but this is a lavender, sort of dusty lavender color. And then last but not least, here is the shoe itself. Very, very interesting shoe design. I haven't really bought any Hoka's outside of like some Clifton like running shoes. And um, I've been really interested in the Project Clifton stuff, but I'm gonna wait until that hits sale before I even decide or even think about copying. But yeah, very, very interesting. Hoka's signature, um, I guess thing about them is their sole is super, super thick and super, super comfy. Um, as well as for the JLAL, um, collaboration such unique color so again like i said this is the dune colorway which is inspired by the deserts uh, like both the high and the low have cortex fabric lining as you can kind of see it makes it waterproof as well as this tongue is gusseted so no water can really get through the outside this is sort of like a premium nubuck it's pretty nice pretty thick to the touch uh, as well as the toes reinforced uh, and then this wing area is also pretty reinforced, pretty thick. In the back, I believe normally it would say Hoka, but this says J-L-A-L. The bottom sole has some blue tread as well as this sort of gray olive tread that is very similar to the laces. Yellow Vibram. And yeah, very, very cool. The tongue also has that lavender, but also this sort of blue nubuck as well inner this one says hoka and the other one says j l a l here is the size tag i would recommend going true to size oh sorry yeah i would recommend going true to size for this so this is a woman's nine men's eight so hokas in my opinion fit a little bit more roomy than your traditional footwear like nikes and stuff like that so this eight fits me pretty well. I wear an eight and a half sometimes in some shoes, so an eight fit great. Um, now for the high top, the high top I'd recommend the same thing because it's essentially just a high top version of it. Now, unfortunately, so I bought it in my correct size on release on Bodega, it was Bodega. So I bought it, everything was good, waiting for shipping and they canceled it. Now, the biggest like, oh, I was debating on getting a second pair, but I was telling myself, oh no, like let some other person get it it's fine because there are multiple other releases happening after Bodega. And I was like, you know what? It's fine, I got my pair, let other people enjoy. Now when Bodega canceled, that's when all the other sites were sold out. And I was like, Bob, I was gonna rip out my hair because the lows sold out immediately on all sites, like regardless. So I was like, you know, it's fine. But the high tops kind of sat for a little bit, like 30 minutes or so uh, in some sizes. And I just decided like, no, no, you know, I'm not gonna get a second pair because I already got mine from Concepts. Concepts canceled and by that time, all the other sites were pretty much sold out except for a size 11 or a size four. Uh, so. I had to pay slightly over retail. Uh, like luckily the high tops aren't going for much. Uh, so I was able to pick it up pretty close to what I would have paid shipped. I still had to pay a little bit more, but um, here is, as well as I had to get this in a size eight, so, or size nine. Um, if I were to do this again, again, I would get a size eight, but since I have a size nine, I just put another insole in it and it pretty much like fixes the the issue, the sizing issue, and I should be all good. But again, here is the Aurora colorway. Very, very cool box design with this off-centered custom box. And again, four lace options. Or I guess five lace options. I completely forgot that there's one already in the lace. So it has this almost like Vibram yellow, this yellow 
looks almost exactly like the yellow that's used in the Vibram logo. Comes with this dark blue lace. It almost looks like a steel, like it's like blue, but also feels like there's like gray mixed in there. This gray and yellow rope style lace. And then this is the lace that came default um, laced in the shoe. It's this uh, dark blue lace with green stripes, or I guess not green, like mint stripes. And the one that I ended up going for is the mint with black stripes. I thought it looked really cool. I thought it helped accent um, the, the lace holding stuff here, as well as the tongue. So the sole of the shoe is pretty much similar to the Ultra Tro Tor Low, sorry, Ultra Tor Low, except the colors are just slightly different. Again, that mint green, the yellow Vibram, and a dark blue cushioned tread. Uh, the upper, again, has that reinforced top, and the upper is like gonna be like this like dark, almost like, I don't know, that dark, blue as well as it has the hoka logo personally i love the color in the blue um the high top i mean i love the blue and the high top version color wise more than the low but i do think that the lows are definitely more wearable this mint cushion on top this is really kind of streamlined i really like the product image of uh, them wearing the high top with like sort of like baggier pants. Um, I feel like I could accomplish some sort of similar fit with the P30s. But yeah, I really like, oh, as well as the same thing, tongue gusseted, Gore-Tex, all that jazz. And the toe, or not the toe, the tongue is pretty similar to the low top. Again, this blue suede, except the accent is this neon color. Very, very comfortable shoes, very light. Honestly, these look heavy, 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 but they're actually quite light. Probably a pair of Jordan 1 highs are probably heavier than this, or maybe even the same uh, weight class, except this one has like, of course, that Gore-Tex, other premium suede options. But yeah, really, really like both of these guys. Um, I've only seen one other review online and it was in Japanese, so I thought I would put something out there in case anybody is like looking to purchase these secondhand or looking to buy these off of like a like a resale site or anything like that. Yeah, I really am. I'm I'm quite happy with both both of my purchases. The high top, I definitely feel like maybe might be a better value. Uh, in terms of materials and cost, just because the blue, the high top pair is actually close to retail, um, while the low top is almost double, uh, even some sizes might be triple. Uh, so yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll do on foot of these guys and let me know in the comments which one you like or whether or not you want the OG colorway because I know that they just retroed the OG colorway in the high. I don't think they did it in the low yet, but yeah. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys again for watching. See you guys later. Peace.